Right, um, I'm going to make a quick video with this one, easier than writing it all down. Um, I was going to mention it briefly in the last one, but other topics kind of took over with that. Um, but recently, like with competing and uh, like comp pictures, there's been quite a few flying around of certain people who really looked out of place. You know, they they weren't up to the standards of everybody else, etc., etc. Some of them weren't so bad. You know, you not everyone's always going to be immaculate, and no one's perfect on stage. No one is. Um, but one that's been going on for the last few days, it, it's the most extreme one I've seen. Um, I'll show you it. Basically, this lady competed. And you get the gist. Okay. So, the problem with this is, right, it spouts off a ton of different opinions. Everyone, like, is scared to say what they're actually thinking. I mean, I've had multiple conversations with friends, other competitors, but not in front of everybody else, on inbox, on WhatsApp, direct messages. And what people say behind closed doors and what they're actually thinking are completely different to what they're portraying on Facebook and you get a really mixed bag of like opinions when you see this sort of thing right bottom line right I share like weight loss transformation pictures if I see someone I mean if you go on my Facebook your friends with me on Facebook you'll see I don't discriminate that way you know what I mean not everyone's a competitor who gives a fuck you know what I mean if you've put some effort in if you've changed your life if you've made a massive difference to your health you've done something hats off to you you know what i mean i'm i love seeing stuff like that of course I do. who doesn't who who in this game who in who doesn't like training or does like training rather who doesn't like to see that you know but competing isn't for everybody it isn't for everybody and god that sparks off so many people going who are you to judge what what right do you have? You don't know her story. You don't know that person's story. Just because they don't look as good as everyone else doesn't mean they don't have the right to compete. And the thing is, it, who are you to judge them? Once they step on stage, that's the point. They are being judged. You are standing in front of five or six people, probably complete strangers, who are judging you and telling you their opinion on how you look. So basically, you are being judged. It's it, They don't care about your backstory. Your, your backstory, how hard you've worked, what you've been through in life, you know, anything like that doesn't come into play once you step on stage. And I'm all for people being happy in their skin, you know, feeling good and healthy, because let's be honest, I'm not going to bullshit people. When you're on stage looking immaculate, you're not healthy. Of course you're not healthy. We're not kidding ourselves there. It's It's something you do... It's a test, blah, blah, blah. It's something that not everyone can do, and that's the point. People do it because it's something really hard. It's a challenge, and when you make it to stage and you place top three, it's a reward. You know, you've done something that not many people can do, and that's what the drive is, and constant self-improvement. This lady may have lost... She may have gone from 30 stone down to whatever she is now. I don't know, maybe 16, 17 stone. I, I'm speculating. She may have done that. She, she may have worked hard, but everybody else has worked hard. That's the thing. And it seems okay that you can go, that girl's too muscular, that girl's too thin. But everyone gets super butt hurt when you say, she is too fat to be on stage. And I'm, this is the fact. I'm sorry. I'm not a monster, but she is obese. She is too fat to be on a competitive stage. If she wants to celebrate how well she's done, if she, I mean, I don't know whether she's done well or whether... If she's lost a lot of weight, then maybe have an article written about her in a paper, you know, a transformation article. Do a calendar. Do a photo shoot. You know, anything. But it's a bit of a... It's kind of like a kick in the face to a lot of the other competitors. Because everyone's working their ass off for months to stand on stage. And that lady has not gone as far as she needs to do to be competitive on stage and we live in a, like a society now where 
everybody needs everything sugarcoating. Everybody needs everything spoon-fed to them. Everybody needs to be given cotton wool and hugs and, oh, it'll be okay, let's all be positive, let's all be super nice to each other. And you know what? That isn't the world. That's not how the world is. I'm not, I don't know this girl. She could be the nicest girl in the world. She, I mean, she looks pretty happy. I'll give her that. She looks, she's confident. And she does have some balls getting up there, looking the way she does compared to the other girls. Uh, granted, I'm not knocking that. I'm not, no one's, no one's saying she's got a bad personality. No one's knocking her. But there needs to be some kind of, so, some kind of regulation, some kind of like, minimal standard, even at amateur level, before stepping on stage. I don't know how you would do that. I'm not proposing how you would do that. I don't know. Um, but when you're like an MMA fighter or a boxer or a weightlifter, a powerlifter, you have a weight category you have to hit. You can't just turn up, you know, looking the way you want to look, weighing what you want to look. If you don't make weight, you either don't get to compete or you have to compete against people in a higher level. It's there are criteria for competing and it's like people go nuts people go insane when you say she shouldn't really be competing why not what who are you to say that well do you think like footballers in like division two if someone turns around to them and says you're not good enough to play in the premiership mate do you think they're butthurt do you think they don't know this do you think do you think it's like oh you're killing my dreams don't tell me what i can and can't do people have limitations. That's why everyone is not performing brain surgery. That is why everybody is not the highest degree of criminal law. You know, everybody has limitations and that is why we have competitions because you want to test and push your limitations to be the best you can be on stage and I don't think that girl is the best she could be. And some people are going to think I'm a monster for saying it. So I'm not a monster. I'm just saying what a lot of other people have said and some of them have said it privately, and it's... <laughs> Bottom line, obesity is a massive problem, a humongous problem, right? And we ain't gonna cure it, and we ain't gonna solve it by glorifying it all the time, and acting and sugarcoating it, and just saying it's okay to be overweight and then have other people go congratulations well done fantastic you did a really great job gotta be more real about this shit that's it <laughs>